Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2020-2021 Upper Deck SP Game Used Hockey 5 box break. Three random teams each, number 10, where all cards ship. 10 spots, everyone gets three random teams in NHL, and there's one combo spot of the Ducks and the Coyotes. So here are the teams, co uh, combo spot Ducks-Coyotes, down to the Winnipeg Jets. And here is the customers, from Sean down to PJ McNeely. So since every spot gets you three teams, we need to triple this list. And there you go. So Sean with first spot once, twice, three times. Dice roll to randomize both lists, pair them up. Three to four, seven times. Yeah, it's crazy, Mac, especially because you think today is Wednesday. This wasn't even a full day. This is literally just VIPs. So you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and all Sunday. It was seven times, right? Yeah, four and three, seven times. So six and seventh and final time. PJ. PJ. Now, seven times here. Seventh and final time. Sharks. Oilers. Okay. So, seven times on the teams. Seven times on the customers, seven times on the dice. Here we go. So, uh, make this easy, Sean. You've got the Devils, Panthers, and Bruins. There you go. So those are your three teams, Panthers, Devils, Bruins, uh, PJ, Sean, any any willingness to trade? Any want to trade between you two? Yeah, I mean, I agree, Mac. I, I, I definitely agree that it's not, this isn't what the, like, they need to figure it out. As far as hurting them, though, their biggest competitor also is closed for business right now and not taking submissions. So, you know what I mean? It's not They're not losing market share. If anything, they might actually be gaining it still, which is absolutely insane. So, uh, looks like there's no talks between Sean and PJ, so we're going to go ahead and print rip. Good luck to both of you. And this is... Break 10, you can see I tagged all of these last night. January, February of this year? Um, I'm waiting on, from, from their biggest competitor, Mac, I'm waiting on my submission from October, October or November. I got a thing the other day from my buddy who we submitted him through like, and he was just like, Hey, by the way, um, the guy sent us a bill for him. So I'm assuming that that means that they're coming soon. And I, my, my, literally my response was cool. I'm really excited to see what I submitted. Cause I honestly, I don't even remember. I tried to go back and look at photos and I was like, <laughs> I hope I didn't submit all of those. So, the problem is everywhere. It's, it's, uh, it's like, uh, as DJ Khaled said it, Suffering from success, right?
Okay, so here is. Oh, I gotta reprint. That's why I had to go get paper. Because it did not want to print the list. Here is that finalist. Good luck, everybody. And by everybody, I mean Sean and PJ. Let's get five ridiculously good packs or boxes for you. Angels just brought in Steve Sischak, which just means that we'll probably end up losing this game. He is awful. Jake Evans to 299 for the Canadians. PJ McNeely. And Igor Shesterkin to 265 for the Rangers and PJ McNeely. Very nice. Draft day autographs. 19 out of 35. Mickey Anderson for the Kings. Uh, that is PJ McNeely. Alexander Yelesson to 65 for the Flames. PJ McNeely. Jack Eichel. Material distinctions for the Sabres and PJ McNeely and Jonas Donskoy, NHL Stadium Series Fabrics. Uh, I think those were, were those supposed to be like, no, that's right. It was supposed to be the mountain. I thought it was supposed to be like the old school Nordiques. Um, for the Avalanche and PJ McNeely. From last July, you're still waiting on, David? That's crazy. Not from, like, six months ago, July. You're talking about from, like, 18 months ago? Really? That's, wait, like, how? Because that's way before they got backed up. Because when I submitted, the last, the one that I'm waiting on, that we, we didn't submit since then, um... At that point, the month before, they were it was a three month turnaround for our stuff. And it still shows it's in the system and in processing and not lost. Brady Kachuk to 265 for the Senators and PJ McNeely. And a Ryan O'Reilly out of 90. Very nice looking one there. For the Blues, PJ McNeely. Ryan McLeod for the Oilers, P.J. McNeely. Ian Mitchell for the Blackhawks, P.J. And you've got Pierre-Edouard Bellemare, Stadium Series for the Avalanche, uh, P.J. McNeely as well. And John Klingberg for the Stars, and P.J. McNeely. Yeah, so is ours. That's what I'm saying, David. Like, we we were having group submissions that were like hundreds of cards as well. That were they were three month, three to four month turnarounds before uh, before it all turned like stopped. Do you know what I mean? So like when we submitted in November, October, November, or whatever it was, um, at that point, the stuff from four months before had been coming back to us. That's why I'm 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 like eighteen months is crazy. Mark Giordano to 265 for the Flames, PJ McNeely. Logan Stanley to 299 for the Jets, PJ McNeely. And four out of 35, Matthew Kachuk, first year All Star. Really nice patch there. Flames, PJ McNeely. That's a very thick card, too. Oli Julevi for the Canucks, PJ McNeely. And Vitek Vanashek, Capitals, and PJ. And John Carlson in the Capitals, and PJ as well. 
Well, in store, David, we do uh, we do submissions with PSA through Mark's cards. Obviously, everything right now um, is like is pretty much at the two hundred dollar price level at the minimum uh, for submissions, which I believe gets you up to the value of twenty four ninety nine or two thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars on a card. Um, but that's the that's the lowest. Steve Sishek has gotten zero outs, given up two runs, and has a man on second. Like I told you, this is the he's one of the worst pitcher in baseball. Out of two ninety nine, Jake Odinger for the Stars, TJ McNeely, and nice Keandre Miller rookie to seventy nine for the Rangers, PJ McNeely. Alex Belzil, rookie auto for the Canucks. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Canadians, not Canucks. Uh, PJ McNeely. Thomas Harley for the Stars, PJ McNeely, and nice frameworks. So Nikita Kucherov, that's awesome looking. This is the first time I've seen one of these. So it's a jersey behind the design on the acetate. That is super cool. Tampa Bay Lightning, PJ McNeely. And Nico Heischer, first year All Stars for the Devils. And Sean Maddox. And last pack, last box. 11 pitches, two runs, no outs, man on second. He is the worst. Lucas Carlson to 299, or sorry, 199 for the Blackhawks, PJ McNeely. Dylan Cousins to 299. Um, Dylan Cousins, this is Team Canada. Who's he on in the checklist? Whose team was he on in this last year? Uh, Buffalo Sabres, yeah. Okay. So Buffalo Sabres for Dylan Cousins. That is PJ McNeely. It's a 299. Let me make a tag just for that. Just to make sure this doesn't go anywhere other than Buffalo. Yeah, uh, David, on our PSA submissions, if you go to our main page, you stick around I'll actually show you uh, we do have a tag a, a tab that is for our PSA submissions uh, and Philippe Gu, uh, Philip Gubrow, uh, Grubauer sorry Avalanche PJ McNeely usually I'm better at writing than that oh this one's cool it's a lineup cutout one of one for Thomas Chabot That is super cool. Ottawa Senators. PJ McNeely. You see the one of one right there? I like that a lot. So it's actually a cutout from the lineup card. Keegan Colsar for the Knights and PJ McNeely. 
and Mark Giordano for the Flames to finish it off and PJ McNeely. And there you go, guys. That's the break. Very nice last five boxes, especially that one of one cutout. First time I've seen one of those. And that uh, Nikita Kucherov um, with the jersey behind the acetate. Uh, the frame works. Very cool looking card, too. So uh, That was 2020-2021 Upper Deck SP Game Used Hockey 5-Box Break. Three random teams each. Number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.